out there. This is Joanne Ehrenhaus welcoming you to a show from Senior Solutions here at BCTV. And with me today, I'll be talking to the commander of the Brattleboro American Legion. This is John Hagen, and we're going to discuss some of the great news from the Legion, which involves our Vet to Vet Visitor Program. John? Thanks for coming. Well, Joanne, thanks for having me. It's a, it's a real pleasure to be here, and I'm looking forward to this conversation and talking about what I think is a, a very exciting program, both for our community and for uh, Brattleboro Post 5 of the American Legion. Yes, it really is. I know that our volunteer coordinator, Vicki Mastroianni, is very excited about this program mm -hmm. and has been really delighted to work with you and some of the people over there. Yeah. So we, yeah, we, uh, it is, uh, it's such an exciting program because it bring, brings in both senior solutions uh, yeah. with with all your programs and it also addresses issues of great concern uh, for us in the Legion dealing with our veterans and our, age, our aging and our infirm veteran population and how we reach out to them. Yeah, it seems like um, a lot of people as they get a little bit older, either because of maybe some physical problem or just, uh, you know, circumstances, find it really difficult to get out and yeah. socialize. Yeah, we had, uh, at, the, at the Legion, uh, with the help of uh, Dr. Bob Tortolani, had begun a, uh, a program of coffees that we do on Tuesday mm -hmm. mornings. And by the way, those are open to any veteran. Nice. On Tuesday morning from 9 to 10, we do a coffee and donuts for male veterans. And on Thursdays, uh, the same thing for female veterans. Uh, from 9 to 10. Oh, good. And this had been part of a, a year-long effort on our part to mm -hmm. begin to bring more veterans back in, uh, not necessarily to join the Legion as much as to join the community of veterans. And that was our primary concern was connecting veterans. I think that's an excellent point. In fact, um, all throughout Vermont, and I'm sure other places too, but because we happen to have a large number of aging people in our communities, the community connections versus isolation and how it impacts on their health and their other wellness issues is really important. And the fact that you recognize it mm. and you're reaching out and trying to reintegrate some of the veterans who used to come out mm -hmm. but can't and also to bring some of the younger, more mobile veterans into this whole community of vets. I think it's really important. Yeah, what we realized was we would have veterans who had been active in the American Legion, for example, for decades, maybe mm -hmm. 30 or 40 years. As they got older, maybe they got sick or infirmed, and then they weren't coming out as much, and then they lost those social contacts, even though they had been uh, participating and active members in this social community, uh, it kind of fell away. So even with our coffees, we realized there's just certain people who cannot make it out. Yeah. And, and what could be a way, uh, if they can't come out to the Legion, uh, that we as veterans uh, could go out and, and reconnect with them? That's right, because we all have the same social needs. I don't care if you're 25 and you want something fun to do. Yeah. If you're 85, you still care about your friends, you still have connections that you'd love to keep up if you were only able. Yes. So this will facilitate them yeah. getting back into the action. Yeah, so uh, I would, I'd love to share some of the details of what we're looking at in Great. terms of this program. Um, oh, can I just throw out one more thing? I understand mm -hmm. that your coffee hours are getting more and more popular. Yeah. <laughs> so after this show airs, I bet it's going to double. In yeah. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, and, and it can. And the nice thing is we have a very large space and we have yeah. a lot of coffee. <laughs> uh, and, and donuts, and actually, the more people that show up, the more interesting the conversations. Oh, exactly. Uh, get to be. It gets more um, robust, diversified. It's yeah. great. Everybody has a good time. Yeah, it, it, but it's um, you know one of the things we also look at is uh, it's not just older veterans that can be infirmed. Uh, mm -hmm. We have yeah. veterans with um, uh, injuries due to service or injuries sure. outside of service who might be younger, but equally right. want to still be contact uh, connected into the into well, the community. Exactly. I'm thinking, you know, people who've been injured. Say they were over in Afghanistan, mm -hmm. and hit a landmine or something. So maybe they can't get out and drive, but they're still the same people inside, yeah. and they have the same needs and the same things to contribute to the community. So this is a great way of bringing them together. And our um, our legion 
as with all veterans groups, uh, is very much this culture of service uh, towards each other. Mm -hmm. uh, this idea when you're on active duty of taking care of your buddy, yeah. on Air Force, so taking care of your wingman, same idea, yeah. you take care of each other. And, uh, and that follows from active duty into our, our time as veterans, that we, we are inclined to be taking care of each other. Sometimes we just don't have those programs uh, oh, yeah. to help us do that. And that's really the most exciting part about partnering with Senior Solutions is Senior Solutions is providing us with, uh, with a program uh, that we can uh, use specifically for veterans. Well, I'm really pleased that we can do that. We do have experience with our Friendly Visitor Program, Senior Companions, mm -hmm. so we have that structure yeah. and that ability to uh, you know, do the background checks, provide training, uh, also provide resources and support for everybody as they go through the program. Yeah. So we're there to help, but, but you are the guys who are really doing the program. Yeah. And I love it that it's the extension of the buddy system. Yeah. You know, it just makes perfect sense. It really, uh, it really does. Our, our national commander um, for the American Legion, we were fortunate he was in town last night mm -hmm. speaking to us. And one of the programs he had brought up that's on a national level is this idea of the buddy check. Um, and I was very excited and, and, and to share with him that we've taken that buddy check one yeah. step further. We don't just yeah. check. Yeah. We actually regularly visit. And, um, and we're fortunate uh, that this, this is possible because of one particular veteran who we haven't mentioned yet. That's uh, right. Uh, Hal Lear. Hal is our go-between, our liaison between mm -hmm. uh, Senior Solutions and the American Legion Post 5. So Hal Lear, he's both a, uh, a veteran, a member of the Legion, and he's also uh, already doing a visitor program with a veteran. So he, yeah. he is already doing the program and can share his experiences with the That's really in. great that he knows about it from firsthand experience. Yeah. And um, we really appreciate the time that he's put in to help form the structure of this program and exactly you know, how the the veterans want to perceive it so that they understand that it's serving their needs yeah. because it's their program for their needs and it, it helps everybody. And, it, and it's actually a program for both veterans. Yes. It is a program for the veteran visitor mm -hmm. um, that they uh, set their hours that they have available, what they uh, are interested in, in participating in, maybe helping someone who needs to go to the store, maybe mm -hmm. sitting and writing letters or reading to someone, or maybe bringing them out, I always like to think, uh, down to the Legion for lunch. There you go. Or to our coffee hour. Yep. Uh, and and that, what, that level of interaction is decided between both veterans together, a coordination plan between them. Right, and it's not so rigid that if they start out maybe two hours a week, maybe come into the lunch or whatever they do, if they find that they can accommodate each other and the, the person who is the visitor has the time, they can expand it a few hours, they can retract it a few hours, whatever is appropriate, and we're flexible enough to let that work. Yeah. It is, um, so for our veteran uh, who's willing to volunteer and be the visitor, it, mm -hmm. it meets, first of all, it helps us as the Legion, as any of the veteran service organizations, stay connected with our older yeah. and our more infirm veterans. Uh, and, it, and it does it in a way that gives that veteran volunteer um, the sense of control and uh, certainty because they don't just go out and visit, they're trained by Senior Solutions. Yeah. And not only does Senior Solutions train them, but if they go and they recognize a problem or an issue that needs to be addressed, yes. uh, they are provided with a, a whole raft of resources That's right. uh, that they can connect. They, they themselves don't even have to do anything more than identify the need right. back to Senior Solutions. And we'll be happy to pick up the gauntlet yeah. and provide uh, connections to services, benefits, anything we can do to help make sure that the lives of our veterans yeah. continue smoothly and work for them. Yeah. And for that veteran who wants the visit mm -hmm. um, or who uh, uh, is lonely or at home, they deserve uh, to have that contact. Yes. Um, veterans who have served the community, who have served their nation, who, yeah. and who now uh, can no longer get out. This isn't. Uh, this is. This is an issue of uh, staying engaged with the community, and it's. And we need to hear from them as well. And if That's they right. get lost, 
uh, then we are losing a segment of our society. It's uh, like losing corporate memory almost. Exactly. And uh, we do value these people a lot. And this is a nice way that they can know that we do. So if I'm thinking sometimes, not only for the veteran, but say there's a veteran that can't get out or so forth, they may have a spouse who is there 24 seven. Mm -hmm. And if they get a friendly uh, visitor from the uh, V to V, I call it the V to V program because yeah. it's a shorthand. Uh, vet to vet. <laughs> <laughs> vet to vet. So if they're able to get a visitor and they can come in a couple times a week, I think it helps the spouse get a little downtime for themselves mm. too. So it works for the families, it works for the visiting vet, it works for the receiving vet, um, and anybody who participates gets a lot out of it. Yeah. So it, it, it also works for the community. Yeah. Um, there are, uh, we're all aware of people, or I suspect we're all aware of people who we know could use that additional social mm. contact. Um, you do not have to be a member of the American Legion. That was my next question. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you do not have to be a member of the American Legion to participate either as a volunteer or as uh, someone who, who would like to have a visit. What do you um, have to be? You have to be a veteran. There you go. And that is... That is That's the we, sole criteria. Yes, and we want to connect that because we believe that veteran experience, not that we all had the exact same experience mm -hmm. in our service, yeah. um, but we all served. And that, yeah. that's a beginning point for a discussion that, that can go much further. Right. Right. But even outside the veterans, uh, there is a role for the community as well. If, if people are aware of a veteran who's mm -hmm. at home or homebound or a veteran who's looking for volunteer opportunities. That's right. Oh. We are, we're hoping for people to pass the word about, about this that, program. That's a very good point because we all have neighbors, we have friends, we have relatives, people that we know through the community. And you may not have the resources yourself personally to do anything, but if you know of a person that could really benefit by participating in this program, I don't care if it could be for the volunteer or the person that's at home. Let's hear about it. Yeah. Let's, we can't do anything unless we hear about it. And how are we going to hear about it? Well, Brian, we have, a, <laughs> we have, a, we have the phone number. And it, it, funny, it, it took a while, it seemed to get to it, but we do have a phone number. It's 802-885-2669. Uh, yep. So I'll say it again, 802-885-2669. And that number is a number two senior solutions. But it's a is direct line to our helpline. To the helpline. And just to make sure that they identify this as wanting to participate in the vet to vet right. visitor program. And, and that number is for both uh, veterans who are interested in yep. volunteering yep. Um, or veterans who are seeking uh, a visit or community members who are aware of one or the other, the veteran who could be a visitor or the veteran who could be visited. Right, it's the universal help number. It's the universal yeah. number. Okay, um, <laughs> thanks. The, uh, you know, the other thing that's really yeah. exciting about this program and, and what makes me, um, what really energizes mm -hmm. me about it is it's, uh, it's scalable. It is, yeah. uh, we're testing it here in Brattleboro because we have an American Legion and we have senior solutions, but there are American Legion and VFW posts yes. and uh, Vietnam Veterans of America and Marine Corps League posts all over the state of Vermont. Yeah. Um, so once we have this figured here, there's no reason um, that the post in Bellows Falls or the post in Chester uh, couldn't start the same program. That's right, because we can give them the template. Yes. And all they need are a couple of people willing, like Hal yeah. and others, that are willing to give their time to help get it started. Yes, and we've already started. We had our first training last week. Yep, how'd it um, go? The training went great. Yeah. We had, first of all, we had amazing support from the uh, community-based um, clinic for the VA nice. that's down here off of exit one. So uh, Yael Cohn from there brought yeah. a couple of their visiting nurses over nice. uh, to provide a little bit of the training. Yeah. Um, and then Senior Solutions provided uh, their experience and their training. We had five veterans there. Um, from around the area uh, who were interested in being volunteers. So we have a great start. Yeah. We have Very trained much veterans. So. <laughs> uh, we uh, are now looking forward to matching them up with veterans to visit. Excellent, excellent. And then hearing about those experiences. Uh, all of us who have been in the military know that uh, you test it once and then you do the after action of how is it going, yeah. assessing it, adjusting it, and then uh, improving it. 
Great. So. Well, I think it is off to a terrific start. Yeah. And as far as getting the word out, we're doing that now. Yes. And That's part um, of it. <laughs> we'll, and we will continue to update the community and put the word out. When I write a column for the Brattleboro Reformer, I'll make sure that I constantly call for volunteers and people who are interested in participating. So we'll, we'll stir the pot. Yeah. And one other thing that I want to focus or emphasize is uh, a veteran is someone who has served in the military. Mm. You don't have to have served in Iraq or Vietnam or in a combat area. Our, what we consider a veteran is, is someone who has been uh, has served in the military yeah. and, and therefore it is not specific to a date, a period of good. time, or a geographical location. I think that's good to let people know that because there are a lot of veterans out there who maybe were not involved in a, confront, you know, a confrontation anywhere, mm -hmm. but they still value their service and they still want to be part of the community. Yes. And, uh, and uh, we want to continue to have them both in, yeah. involved in the larger community, but also involved in this more smaller uh, community of, of veterans. And I think, if, you know, not being a veteran myself, my dad was a pilot mm -hmm. in World War II, so I loved listening to stories. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, sharing stories is a really important way not only to, you know, have friendships, but it's a really good way for the community to remember history. Yeah. The, uh, I, I think back to our Tuesday morning coffee groups and most everything is shared within the context yeah. of a story. Yeah. And the story that is told by someone uh, is reflective of what's on their mind as much as it's sharing something yeah. from their past. It's also sharing something about their present. Absolutely, because um, something is triggering that memory. Yes. And I, I know I've probably shared this before, but you know how recent studies have shown that if people don't have a connection or a friend that they can talk to, share their thoughts, share their feelings, it's, this has the same effect on their health as smoking 15 cigarettes yeah, a day. Very stressful. So, um, so it's important. W one thing I want to, to stress also to a veteran who's, who's interested in volunteering but is a little concerned about, well, I don't know what I'd do or what I would say, is that's where the program can really help out. When right. you go through the training with us, it might be as simple as saying, well, the first time you meet the veteran will be mm -hmm. a coordination. Uh, a, it'll mm -hmm. be with Senior Solutions along to coordinate right. a plan. Right. But we can provide you ideas and examples of things you could do together. For example, going out to lunch together, yeah. uh, just taking a walk together. Maybe it's a matter of uh, helping with some light moving around a yard work. But it's yeah. go to Walmart. Go to Walmart. There's whatever. <laughs> uh, people who, uh, you know, social connection. Um, I think about some of the most meaningful uh, discussions I ever had with my children yeah. when they were growing up yeah. was actually in the car driving oh, where yeah. both people were talking, facing forward, and you can just have a discussion. Um, oh, so it is important. We, uh, we want to help the veteran find and discover those opportunities where, uh, where they feel comfortable in that interaction. Yeah, I think for this program to work, basically both people all they have to do is be a friend. Yes. And we all know that sometimes we don't always click with everyone we meet. True. So there is a, an initial meeting, the coordination plan, and both veterans are perfectly free to say, you know, this is probably a very nice individual, but yeah. they're not the person that, um, that I, would, I feel comfortable socially. Right. We're engaging. not forcing people together. Absolutely and not. I'll have to tell you, I'm sure that you, know, you guys are pretty good at that yourselves, but Vicki is a gem. Yeah. She really n understands how to put people together. Okay. And she's very willing, if, it, if her first try didn't work out, she'll m move on and do it again yeah. until she gets somebody that clicks. Yeah. So that, uh, you know, and again, kind of back to why our legions engaged mm. and involved in this is we are aware that we have older members, we have infirm members, and then we also have older and infirm veterans who might not be members but they still need uh, that social connection. And Absolutely. as a veteran service organization, this is very important to us. That's your mission. To be making that, those connections That's happen. right. That's one of your main missions, connecting veterans to veterans. And make, you know, I can't tell you how happy I am that we are doing this program with you guys. Mm. Um, it really makes me feel good. 
Well, let me repeat. And I'm not even a veteran, yeah. and I feel good about it. <laughs> let me repeat the phone number. It's 802-885-2669. Or um, if you don't have the phone number and you're walking by the American Legion mm. and it strikes a reminder to you, you're more than welcome to come in the door and, oh. and ask us about it. That's lovely. And, uh, and we will connect you up uh, right there and then with uh, the information you need. Great. I, I, I thank you. And um, just want to remind you that... You don't have to be young or old. You just have to be willing. Yes, Right. exactly. OK. And thank you. Is thank there anything you. you'd like to add or think no, we're No, I okay? just uh, I want to thank Senior Solutions for, um, uh, for really reaching out to us on, on this program, and especially Hal Lear, who made this possible. Yeah. Um, he's worked very hard on he, this. He has. And uh, he's, he's that invaluable link between our two organizations. Yeah. So. Thank, thank you, Hal. Yes. And thank you, Vicki. <laughs> thank you, John, and everybody out there who is going to participate and make this one of the best programs that's ever happened in Brattleboro. Thanks, Hal. Thank you.